Now, to better understand how to build sites with dynamic content from the server, let's consider a video site. On most video sites, each user sees the same page layout, but the videos are customized to them. For example, everyone might see a recommended video section, but the videos in that section would change from user to user. Although the videos are different, each video displays the same kinds of details. These details might include an image thumbnail, the video title and its creator, the length of the video, total number of views, and the video's release date. All of these things are part of the video template. Sometimes, when a video site is first loading, the user sees a lot of blank boxes. And as the videos load, the boxes get replaced with actual videos. This type of loading is called skeleton loading. So this prevents objects on the page from jumping around as videos arrive from the server. So what are the main takeaways from a video site example? First of all, when you're making a site with dynamic content, you should focus on the parts of the site that are common to everyone. Next, define the template for dynamic content. And finally, you can use AmpList to connect the data to your templates to provide personalized data to the user. To start working with the AMP list, let's recreate a typical section of a video site, the recommended video section. In this exercise, we will create a sample video page containing a collection of recommended videos, we'll learn how to retrieve server data using AMP lists, and we'll practice building AMP mustache templates. We'll also learn how to use skeleton loading. Our video site example is going to show one group of six recommended videos. We'll use the AMP YouTube component to display them. And while our site is contacting the server to retrieve the data on these videos, we'll use the skeleton loading to show the site structure to our users. We're not going to build this product page inside our Chico's Cheese Bikes project. Instead, we'll use a special glitch repository just for this exercise. The link is in your video description. This glitch comes with a CSS HTML, and the AMP boilerplate, some sample video data, and a pre-built server that conveniently returns recommended videos. So you don't have to edit the server to complete this exercise, but for the server to work, you will have to follow the brief instructions in the readme of your Glitch repo. Let's talk about the structure of the data our server will return. Check out the sample data. Here, the ID field refers to the YouTube video ID for each video. The image field is a link to a thumbnail that can be used as a video placeholder as the video is loading. The title, creator, and duration are details about the video itself. And finally, the date is the video's published date. 